I've shown this technique before, but for whatever reason, some people weren't understanding the process. So today I'm going to show you a more thorough way of doing it, utilizing Reason 9. Here's my track layout. This is the track I'll be snatching the timing from. Here's my remake of the drum loop using the redrum. And here's the extracted MIDI notes from the main groove, but we'll get a little more into that later. Let's solo up the drum loop and take a listen to it. Now let's play the drum machine's version. As you can hear, it's uh, really quantized, really stuck, really stiff. Now let's play them together so you can hear how off or different they are compared to one another in terms of timing. Now before we get into using Della's user groove, I need you to understand what a user groove actually is. It's the exact timing of someone's performance, whether they're drummers, pianists, whatever. It's their natural timing and feel that cannot be replicated with normal quantization. Opening up the MIDI file that contains his extracted groove, if we click the kick, look at the positioning, 1119. We go to the second bar, click the drum kick, 21130 with an asterisk. Then we have 2113, 111, or 11311. 21332, so on. So as you can see, it's not exactly the same. Let's go to the drum machine's kick. 1110. 2110. 1113. 213. 233. It's all predictable. It's all the exact same. Go down to the hi hats. 111, 211, 113, 213. Now, even if we were to slide these, because some people say, well, if you just slide the hi hats, you'll get that feel. If we slide it, we can make it sound good. But when you're trying to get someone's actual groove, it's not going to work. Because as you can see, it's still pretty predictable. It's all going to end in that 6-8 with the asterisk. Now in the regroove mixer, you can see that I have some presets loaded up. I've gone ahead and done this ahead of time just to save time. But if you want to see this process step by step, I would suggest that you look at the very first tutorial, which you'll find a link in the video. But what I'm basically doing is right-clicking the clip and getting the user groove and then loading the user groove. And then those user grooves are allocated to the banks on the drum machine. So now let's actually rebuild the track or the drum loop timing wise, starting with the kick.
Now, if you were paying attention, you'll notice that my snares were still off. That has nothing to do with the groove setting that I've snatched and everything to do with how I've prepared the samples. So how do you fix that? Do you use the slide knob and try to slide the samples back in place? Or do you fix it at the root of the problem? The best thing to do is fix it at the root of the problem, which is my start times. As you can see, they're lifted up a little bit, so let's set those back to zero. All right, now the snare sounds a lot tighter. There's still a little bit of a delay, but that's because of how the initial snare was built, and I'd have to go back into the actual wave form and tighten that up and cut it. But you get the gist of what I'm showing here. Hopefully this has helped. Do try it out. Leave comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see in future tutorials. And again, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'll see you guys next week.